All right, in this video series, I've showed you how to build a Meet My Classmates app. And basically it shows a spreadsheet of data. And you know, and if you click on one item, it shows additional information about that person or that row or whatever. Um, and you can kind of navigate through clicking next to see the, the different, different items. Okay, in this lesson, what I'm gonna do is show you how to use location information and a map um, and what we're going to show is on the map where each person lives or, or something about the person location wise. Um, and uh, you'll, you'll remember, uh, you know, from my previous lesson, we had this spreadsheet and yeah, we had the pick and we had the name of each person and a description. We also had this latitude and longitude, which are, you know, this is coordinates on a, on a map. Okay. And we're going to use this to actually put little markers on a, on a Google map. Um, yeah. So, so, you know, one thing, you know, how do you actually create or find those coordinates? You can go to maps, you know, Google maps anywhere. And, and if you do a control click any place, it'll give you the coordinates. And the first number is the latitude. The second number is the longitude. And you can just grab those and stick them into your spreadsheet. Um, and that's what I did, you know, essentially to create, create these lats and longs. All right, so let's let's now, you know, we've got this data and of course you might, you know, this might be a posting app where when someone posts it records their location or, or whatever, you know, so there's all kinds of kind of location-based apps and what you need to know is how to use that data to, to in your app to show on a map or something. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually create a, a map let me go back into edit, create a new screen, and I'm gonna call this thing my map screen. Um, and, uh, you know, Thunkable's got this great map component, so I'll just bring in a map component to my um, app. And then I'll also just bring a button so I can get back home at some point. So I'll call that button my, my home button. And of course we can style this stuff, you know, uh, however you would like, uh, but I'm just going to call this guy my my home button. Okay, and what I want to show on this map is a bunch of markers, you know, corresponding to each person. Okay, um, so you know, kind of the first thing I need to do is from my screen one, my home screen, be able to get to the map. So let's go back to screen one, and I'm just going to add a button below my list viewer, and in that button, I'm just going to give the text. Uh, we'll just say map. You know, we might put a little icon there or something instead. And I'm just going to call this not my map button, but go to map button. Okay, and the code for for kind of navigating between screens is pretty simple. Um, I'm just going to go to the go to map button dot click, and then in control I can do a navigate, and of course I want to navigate to the map screen. Okay, pretty pretty straightforward. Um, let's go ahead and and test this. One thing I want to tell you is, you know, you cannot preview um, maps. They, the preview doesn't work with maps. Okay, like if I try to preview this, if I click on map, it it says please view the map on a physical device. Um, you know, and what I've been doing, at least in this video sequence, is is using this preview, which just lets you kind of see the running app on your computer. Um, but you can also, um, you know, you know, test things on your device and you need this Thunkable Live app. So make sure you install that from, from the Apple store, from the Android store. Um, but once you have that, um, I'm just going to click on this Thunkable Live app and it'll open up. And now I'll be able to test this app I'm building um, on my device. And what's kind of cool is... Um, you know, it Thunkable basically finds the the device using the same account over over Wi-Fi. Okay, so I'm just going to click on Live Test to make sure it's the most updated version. And there's my there's my app. And you know, this right screen here is just projecting my tablet. I'm holding my tablet right now, and I'm going to you know just click on Tara, and it's going to show her inf information here. And uh, <coughs> Oh, I don't have a back button. So let me go ahead and do live test again to, to open up the app again. Okay, what I really want to test or show you is the, is the map. And 
there's the little map button at the bottom. I'm gonna to touch the map button and it's gonna open up a, a Google map. And we're gonna to have to mess with the map so that it shows, you know, kind of zoomed in at the right level for, for our data. And that's what I'll show you in the next, in the next lesson.